my YouTube channel today. Unfortunately, we're not gonna be fishing because of the accident that happened yesterday. Yesterday, I was fishing at my dock, like almost every day. When I have nothing to do, I go fishing and it's really fun. But yesterday, we were trying to catch some pinfish and we only caught two catfish. And the second catfish we caught, uh, my dad had a, like really good gloves on and he took the fish and he grabbed it like this, that's it, it's for fish, like this. Oh, from the belly, my bad, from the belly. And then it twisted itself and then it cut him right through the glove. Right through the glove, guys. The glove is really, really thick. And he cut right through the glove and it was bleeding and all that stuff. And you know, my dad is really, really strong. And he said, I oh, know something's not right. Something's not right. And then he said, we have to go to the hospital. And then while he's inside, washing his hand and washing to see if there's something in it, in his hand, um, I'm outside and I don't want to fish the dice. So I pick it up and I said, oh, you hurt my dad, you little catfish. And then I think he understand me and he twisted himself and got stuck into my hand. He just He didn't just go boom and back. It was stuck. It was stuck into my hand and the glove. So it was just hanging onto my hand and the glove. It was moving. My mom was freaking out. And it was really disgusting. And then my dad came and pulled it off. It was, it hurt. It was, I was, had never that much pain in my life, guys. It was really painful. And so now we're going to the hospital because I'm screaming, I'm crying, and something's really, really wrong. Now in the car, I'm starting, my arm is starting to go like this. So it's starting to puff, okay? And it's really unusual. So now it's like, oh, do I have a allergic reaction to the venom? Because guys, if you didn't know, all catfish have venom with their spine, their cat, oh well, yeah, so with their spine and all their fins at the edge right there, lots of venom. It was in my arm for a long time, so prob probably all of the ven venom went to my arm. And I, I, at least I didn't get an allergic re reaction. I was really lucky and there wasn't any barb stuck in there, so I got really lucky. And it's a small one, as you can see right here. A really small one, guys. And now we went to the hospital and I had a bag of ice, right? Because every parent thinks it's good to put ice on every like scar you have, right? Well, actually for every like water stain you get from like a stingray, sea urchin, catfish, you actually have to put warm water, like warm as you can tolerate. So you just put your foot or your arm in there and yeah, so you wait and then it's really, really, uh, it, it takes the pain away and it's really, it's really good if this happens to you. And I got really unlucky because the worst, you guys probably think it's a stingray, it's actually the catfish. So I got the worst one and yeah, so we went to a hospital and then I put my arm in the water and then everything was good. But then I have some medical treatment to, to eat like three times a day for five days. My dad got stung too and he's doing it for five days too, three times a day. And it's going away really quickly. It happened yesterday, so we're really lucky. But before we end this video, I wanna show you guys this image. How to hold a catfish and do catfish sting. The myth, catfish sting, fact. Catfish don't sting, but they can hurt you if they're not handled properly, especially the smaller fish. I had a pretty small sized catfish, so I got really unlucky. Here's what you need to know. Whiskers, fins, and barbels don't sting, but here's how you can get hurt. Dorsal fin and pectoral fins contain venom that causes edema, swelling, and hemolytic, which causes increased blood flow to the affected area. So I got stung by the dorsal fin, but you could get stung too by the, the both sides of the pectoral fins. If these fins puncture the skin, it causes discomfort. Smaller catfish are the ones that will get you. As 
especially the channel catfish. Well, it was a small catfish, like I said, and we, we, it was a channel catfish. So we got really unlucky. Fins are dull, are dull on larger catfish. The larger the fish, the less risk, less risk, risk of being finned. And then the tools you should always use, which we unfortunately didn't use, that you should use to handle a catfish. So a catfish lip grip and a Berkeley lip grip. So you should give those, I'll probably give away some in the video. If you get finned by a catfish, then use this old school catfish shank trip. Rub the wound on the belly of the catfish and the sting will go away quickly. So, we used to do that all the time, and then it happened, we forgot, we went, it was a small catfish, so we thought, okay, we'll just go this way, and we got sunk, so now we know which way to go. And then, this other picture, so this is a sock catfish, if you didn't know, and I highlighted, I circled the pictorial fin, and that's what I got stung by. But it was a channel catfish, the worst one. But uh, if you didn't see the Boca Grande video, I handled one, which I didn't know it was venomous. So I got really lucky because we were really far from the hospital. Here's another video I, I want to show you guys. Fish, grab. Oh my goodness. First fish in the kayak of this trip. And it has to be this thing. Oh, it just has to be. I'm not touching this guy. Uh-uh. No, no, sir. No thanks. Ow! God! He said he wasn't about to Ow! Him. It's really sad. Ow! God! God! Yeah. He got really lucky uh. because he didn't get stuck in his hand. It was hanging off my hand. It was hanging. It was really interesting. This is the in Boca Grande, the one that I got. That's uh, a saw catfish. With uh, you see all the fins over here. And yeah, so that's a saw catfish, and that's the pictorial fin of a channel catfish. So yeah, and this is me yesterday at like 9, 9 p.m. at the emergency room, just putting my and warm water in the sink with my dad. It was pretty late. And then I made this. Blue f catfish versus bluefish. Guess who won? I did. In your face, catfish. Alright, this is gonna be it for my video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. And hopefully I get out a new fishing video.